Hey, Isolation Nation, how are ya? It's Fuck It Fan Friday. Ben's not here, Steve's not here, so Rachel and I are going to hold down the fort. We have a special guest host coming, but I told her the wrong time, so maybe she'll make it, maybe she won't. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Queen, uh, you can support the show, top left-hand corner. You can Venmo, you can Super Chat, you can PayPal at SestiaCShow.com. Queen Rachel's here. Queen, how are you doing? How are we doing? I hit my I start video button way too early. You know well, what? I, 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 I act goes. like I wasn't going to do the thing, and then I decided to do the thing, so I Did. said your name early. That was my That's bad. Awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm fucking this all up today. Rachel, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, uh, I have a production show, right? A, a taping tomorrow night. So it has been maddening here. I've never done yeah. anything like this before. And the amount of work that goes into uh, filming uh, a lot is a lot. Sure, is. sure. Well, the good news is if it doesn't work out, you can just have Tam live stream it from the, for the, from her Facebook in the middle of the audience. <laughs> we can see it that way. So, you know, we've always got a backup plan. That's the good Tam, news. how soon can you get to Cincinnati? <laughs> I am on my way. <laughs> on my way <laughs> that is our, that, is, that, that is our backup plan i love it all right yeah <laughs> who's the potential guest host that might be well ali goldberg's right supposed to be here i told i look i was i was i was emailing a bunch of people about uh next week and a bunch of east coast comics and i said 6 p.m a bunch and then i just in my head didn't transport back to 3 p.m pacific the time change always fucks me up so we'll see if she makes it well, we'll uh, she she agreed to do it but then i told her the wrong time so we'll see what happens <laughs> oh, no. yeah, no. Is... Uh, but I will say I will say that uh, my Patreon dra uh, open today. I've already got two patrons, so thank you uh, to Alexandra and Philip and Front Row Stephen Val for being my first two patrons. I appreciate that. And it's just my social media, so I got about uh, ten or twelve videos up there and a bunch of memes I've collected. This is just kind of fun shit I found on my phone. So then there'll be new stuff coming up every day. I'll, I'll basically I used to post social media a lot, and then I kind of got tired of it because it wasn't showing up to the right people and people were angry, and I was tired of getting my content away for free. So we're gonna do that. So join the Patreon. Uh, back, uh, slash Bowers Comedy is how you do that. Patreon.com slash Bowers Comedy. And uh, this, uh, today only, if you join the Patreon, I will I will not send you a copy of my fake book. So you get a free fake book <laughs> if you join the Patreon deal. today. So that's a deal. <laughs> People are asking if there's a book tier. Like, maybe <laughs> you start, like, fan fiction. You, like, will send them, you know, a page or a couple sentences at sure, a time. Sure, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Then, then by the end of like a year, you will have written a full book, Bowers. Uh, yeah, if I write one page a day, three hundred sixty, I could maybe write a, a book a, a book a year. Yeah, one page a day. There you go. Or you know, you can make it a quick like hundred pager and just do it as you want to, and you don't need to kill That's yourself. True. You do it that way. I mean, I, I think I think a page a day is not that much. I could probably write a page a day without killing myself, quote unquote. But I think I could probably you handle think so? it. I think so. I, I write a lot. Anyway, uh, I'm just not good at writing. My problem is I write like I talk and no one likes it. So when I read, when I ever give someone something I've written, they're like, ah, can I change all the words in the order they're in? I'm like, well, oh, yeah, not, but okay. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't write like you're supposed to write, apparently, if you're a book. No, you need to. There, Yeah, there, it's based on your audience, right? So if it's just a text message, you can write like you speak. But if it's something it's else, book, yeah, they don't like that. And I don't I don't like I like to read, like, write like I speak. It pisses me off when people edit me. So I, that might be funny. You know what? Just every time I give my book to somebody to edit, they change it. And I'm like, I don't like any of this now. I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's all right. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe that's maybe that's my problem. Anyway, uh, we had a fun overnight game, Rachel. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Allie said, oh, shit, that's right now. Uh, she said, oh, it is, in fact, right now. <laughs> so she's trying. Anyway, uh, we had a fun overnight game. Uh Let's see. It was talk punny to me. So what's some punny to pick up line? So I'll uh, use a pun to pick somebody up. And my friend, my Frankie Angles said my favorite said, I'm so good at algebra, I could p replace your X and you wouldn't even know why. Okay. Uh, okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. I hate pretty that. Good. Did we have a Night King game, right? Yeah, so the Night King game was uh, pick up, train pickup lines. Train, choo-choo, right? And uh, oddly enough, yeah, nobody mentioned something about, like, joining a train. But um, <laughs> I just thought of that. Uh, I, I, think, I think you're a drop of Jupiter. Is that one you could use as a train pickup line? <laughs> oh, a different version of train, but we'd still accept it. Uh, pick up line, train pickup line. So I like Cynthia's, I could be your private Gandhi dancer. Okay. <laughs> Nice. That was very some inside baseball, uh, but I, I like it. Um, I liked Tam was, I'd love to blow your horn. Nice, <laughs> nice. But uh, Megan Luz, congratulations, you're the Night King. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can get your number. 
So ah, I like it. I like very it. Very clever. Congratulations. You how are about the king. How about I'd, I'd like to put some wood in your furnace? Think that would work? Uh, uh, do you use coal mostly? Thank you. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I run a wood train over here, Taylor. I run a wood train. I'm into coal trains. That's not Taylor, I'm not a jazz guy. I don't like coal train. Anyway. Uh, uh, Taylor, if you want to join us on camera at any point during the show, that'd be amazing. I don't have but my camera set up. Groan, did I just get a groan from Cass? I think that was a groan on my jazz joke. You know what? Yeah. I don't need um, uh, Rachel, you want to explain today's game? You want me to do it? Yeah, so today's game is oh because our our guest our host guest. that might She'll be here might She'll not be. um if not maybe we can make it up a story but she has a story about how her friend married a murderer just recently and so she was going to tell us all about it so today's game is um murder a song which is real fun we had a lot of fun entries um so like for instance for instance come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, i'm gonna cut your throat okay <laughs> or instinct uh -huh. Die, die, die. I, I mean, I make that die, a die, 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 bye, die. Yeah, I like it. That's good. That's good. That's good. So the way you participate in the game is um, on uh, Steve's YouTube or here. Um, but if you want to count to go towards a prize, you submit a five dollar or more super chat or Venmo in the top <laughs> corners, or you can PayPal. Look at my fun new. Nails. Um, Ooh, and if you're in a video front row, you get up to two entries for free. Ooh. I nailed it. Thank yeah, you, you so did. Well. Two entries for free. Oh, good. Speaking of the video front row, I'll do that. I'll do the VFR. So set the timer yeah, straight. Let's go here. Uh, so we're excited for you guys to be here. I'll, you know, I'll do this. I'm going to see the, val the, the gallery view. It's almost a Valerie view. Uh, that's that's Steve. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right. Looking good, everybody. Looking good. Appreciate you guys all being here. All right. So we're going to go through the VFR. Uh, I'm excited for the. Oh, look, look, well, shit. Okay. Uh, hey, look, Steve and Val. And Steve joined my patron this morning at like 8 a.m. before it was even launched. So thank Aww. you, Steve and Val, for appreciating the first. First, uh, first people. They gave me eleven dollars because they're Canadian, so they pay a little bit more a month because they're Canadian, you know. But I think I'll make an ex I'll throw ex some extra Canadian jokes in there for you. Eh? Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's good. See, All right. cool. Uh, it, it, tell me to this, Steve. That A's the well. We'll go back to that. A's the question mark, right? That's a, that, like that's why you say A, because like Canadians, that when they talk, all their sentences go up at the end. So you have to say A, so you know it's a question. So if you're like going to the mall to get some bananas, as opposed to going to the mall A. Get bananas A? Then that's a question, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, that's a question. Yeah, that's why you put the A in there. All right, coming up next, we have one of our favorite people in the whole world. It's Crash Civilizations. Everybody, Crash Civilizations is over here. They, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. They, they smash with each other. You know, it's like the Sims, but they fight. It's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> Anna D's with us. Look at oh, look at that Le Le yeah, leopard hoodie. Looks... I love that. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> that nice. Oh, oh, it's got ears too. Look at that. Now, are you faster in the leopard hoodie? Can you run faster in that? Like when you're a kid and you bought brand new tennis shoes. I love it. Brad Clark's here. Brad Clark's gonna do some two truths and a lie. I hope they're about space. We're gonna do that a little bit. Uh, they might be about how ticklish she is. That might be someone. Or, that might be what our two truths and a lie are about. He's pretty ticklish. It's pretty fun. <laughs> That's one of the funniest people to tickle in the history of the world. He has this high pitched yes, giggly laugh. Yeah. It is the best gig. He's like, ah! it's so fun. It's it's the best. So, so you're gonna how do you know this? What? Yeah, well, we had a fun time in DC and we were to carry Eric Kubar and we might have tickled him a bunch. It was fun. My point is that uh, if you had a chance to tickle Brad Clark, I would do it. That's all I'm saying. It's worth it. Uh, Tina from New Zealand's here. How you doing? Tina, that is not a creepy doll behind you. Don't worry about that. It might not uh, murder us in our dreams. Jesus Christ. That's cool. Is that <laughs> Is that Tina? Where'd you get that? Is that is that a childhood uh, heirloom? Did you buy that at a estate sale? Is it haunted? What's going on? Is that your kid doll as a baby? A doll as a, as a baby? Uh, that doesn't help. Nope. Oh God. Oh, Allie's in the waiting room. Let's do it. Hey, let's go. <laughs> hey, look, Aronka's here. Scared of dolls? Do you not like dolls either, Aronka? Because I'm not a big fan of dolls. And you know when a when some, when a German's scared by something, it's fucking scary because they don't get scared <laughs> by. <them. laughs> But a German's like, that's too much, bro. It's too much. <laughs> Good to see you, Rocket. Ah, uh, damn, anything. boost me up. Scotty is here. Bones, I have to. I know to. why. Oops. I know why. <laughs> what happened? Real quick, I'm going to spotlight myself. Okay. okay. Um, if you guys could see, you don't like Can dolls. I went me? and yes. did a paranormal investigation last night in Cincinnati. Hello? There was a doll room. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Allie Goldberg's here, everybody. Allie, Allie so how sorry. are you? Sorry I, put, sorry I gave you the wrong time. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> 
our friend goes. Oh, oh. Wait, sorry, here? I couldn't hear. At okay, is everyone excited for their behind the scenes because we didn't do a mic check? And now <laughs> yes. I'm right now because I just okay. Also, I just came in and I couldn't hear anything. Let the record show that I did it. That I was told the wrong time. Oh, I told them already three times. Three times I told it was the wrong time. And by the way, Allie, you're 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 filling in for Ben, who's never been at sound check. So you were totally fine. No one's gonna. Thanks. Hit it. Thank you to Ben for setting the bar so low. Thank you. <laughs> you don't even know the I'm half of it. <laughs> but look, I'm a woman. I gotta come in doing twice the work. You know what I mean? I gotta be on time. But, <laughs> but also, did you say, let me. Did you, say, did, you, did you say you're gonna come twice? Is that what you just said? You said I gotta come twice. I hope so. That's what I'm looking for in this. But um, I was gonna say, yeah, no. But it's also my fault because SDSC is always at three. And when you when you wrote me six, I was like, that might not be right. Anyway, yeah. how are you doing? <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't. Tam's here, by the way. You got her booster shot, Tam. Are you extra? You're extra vaccinated now. Nice. Cool. Very good. Very good. I keep getting around people that have COVID and not getting it. So I think I'm immune. I think I'm good. I keep like uh, being just like somebody will call me like, oh, COVID. And I'm like, so I get it tested. And I'm negative. I'm like, I think because I, I, think I had the vaccine, I'm good. I'm not one of the breakthrough people. Anyway. Been around a whole bunch of people myself. Good job. Nice work. Yeah. All right. Oh. Steph's here. Steph, how you doing? What are you about to show us? Oh gosh, is that it? No. That is that is that Evil Morty? Is that Evil Morty? No, it's it's Crowley. Of it's course. the only doll I have. Crowley. Crowley from Supernatural. Supernatural. Oh, I like that show. I like Crowley. Yeah, he's the devil, right? There's a demon. He's King a demon. of Hell. King of Hell. There you go. Yeah, he was fun. All right. Well, cool. <laughs> wow. Fun. Is that a Bartles? And, is that a Bartles and James wine cooler? Did you go back to the '80s to get your drink? That's awesome. Anna Hood's here. Anna, how you doing? Cool. <laughs> they they just got Bartles and James in Australia last year. This is awesome. She's very excited about it. <laughs> oh, Schweppes, lemon, lime, and bitters. Of course, you're drinking bitters. Anyway, uh, Anna, how we doing? <laughs> I'm okay. Happy Friday, everybody. It is the Anna no opulent thing. Oh, Patrick Yokely, it, 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 are you suing a hurricane? What's going on? Are you going to court to try to? <laughs> <laughs> did, it, did hail damage your car, and now you've got some mesothelioma lawyers going? That, in your case? <laughs> no, it, it was executive staff meeting today. Gotcha, gotcha. Is that what you and your fiance call sex? I love it. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> 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 we had an executive staff meeting. I got all dressed up for it. At least you're wearing pants, Patrick. JoJo's here. How you doing, JoJo? I like that scared Halloween cat behind you in your gaming chair. It's like, you look like you're ready to party there, JoJo. You Get got it rolling. ready. Got a cool hat, glass of wine. The pearls are out here. That's Friday night. Let's go. I love it. Big fan. Oh, Callie's here. Hey, Callie. How are you? Good to Hi, see Callie. you. Hi, Callie. Did you make it? Is that, is, that a cat, is that a cat tower behind you? Is that a cat tower? Is that a cat tower? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, lucky, lucky cats. My cats ain't got shit. Kira, Kira's here. Hey, Kira Murray. How are you doing? Good to see you. I like the Hi. pink. I like the ruffles. Oh, thank nice you. Job. I also, like you... I, just real quick. I don't know. I mean, I'm Canadian, but is it an American thing to go to the mall to get bananas? No. No. What? Well, in my, in my defense, I've never got a banana, so I don't know where they're from. I don't okay. know where. You, I mean, like, literally, if you said buy a banana, I would have to Google where you get bananas. I just, okay. I don't, <laughs> the mall's where I'd start. I'd go to Banana Republic and then be disappointed and just get some trousers and then end up somewhere else. But sometimes at Orange Julius, you can get a banana. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Greg Burns Jacks is here breathing just fine because. <laughs> Oh, because of the plants. I get it. Are they, they're a lot of oxygen. All right. They, they trade out the weed smoke and the coffee for the oxygen. I get it. Nice. All right. Hey, as long as you have a plan, man, that's all that matters. Abby's here. Good to see you, Abby. Abby might have some more doctor words for us later that we can guess what. Allie, we're going to play guess what doctor words mean in a little bit with, Al, with, with Abby here. She's got some doctor. You got good words for us this time, Abby? I've got a few. I'm still working on my list here. All right. Good. Good. All right, Rebecca Fisher's here. Rebecca, how you doing? From from uh, what's well, he always mispronounces? He's it's it's Blink and Pie, right? Blink and Pie England. That's right. He always messes it. Up. Yeah, yeah, Blink and Pie. Blink and Pie England. That's funny. I love Blink and Pie. Sounds good. like an eye disease. A Blink and Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Got that Blink and Pie. That's a dessert, yeah. and you all know it. <laughs> 
like an STD, STD that Rudolph gives people. Anyway, uh, Frank Berman's here, Frank. <laughs> I fuck Rudolph and I have blinking pie. Oh, that's gross. All right, good to see you, Frank. Love the glasses. Oh, we're double Franks. We got two Franks right now. We got Angles and Glasses. What's up? We got Angles and Glare. Angles and Glare. You guys should start a, a detective team called Angles and Glare where you solve crimes in your spare time. That'd be fun. I'll never see it coming from our angle. <laughs> Uh, what I hear you, no one ever sees it coming from that angle, Frank. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it. Is that it? Yep, get, that's it. Get All right. We got everybody. When, where, what about Wendy Swerdlow waving down there? Oh, Wendy's waving around. We always forget Wendy somehow. I don't know what's going on. Wendy oh. Swerdlow's here. Swerdlow doing paperwork. Gonna be like she's working at home. What? What's she what's doing? Your, what, shitty doodles. What's your job, Wendy? What, are you a notary republic? You look like you'd be a notary republic. She does look like she. Yeah. Are you? Oh, I am a notary public, but no, you're not. not. Of course she is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely she's hoping she's a notary public for sure. That's hilarious. When you break up with someone, you send them a notarized letter, right? But what if your notary is the person you're breaking up with? And I have to find another notary like I did with my divorce papers. <laughs> you can't notarize your own divorce papers? No. No. Wow. Now, is that like a law or is that just against the notary code? You, you literally cannot notarize your own signature. Fair. Because how would they know it was you? Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> but I work in a CPA. I think you would be the. I think I would trust that you know it's you more than you trust it's no, you know it's somebody else, if I'm being honest. I think the person you could notarize the best is yourself because you know you're you 100%, right? Yeah, but who would be verifying that it was my ex that signed the papers instead of me forging his signature. Oh, no, 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 you can't, you can't notarize his signature. He's probably dead. I'm saying your signature you can notarize. <laughs> my ex is very much alive, thank you, but we'll find out more about that in the game. That, what? Oh, wow. That's, that's one of my favorite uh, forensic files is the guy that uh, he, he, he killed his neighbor and then sent his daughter Christmas cards for years saying sorry i haven't called love you dad but then she got the third one she got she got she's like that didn't look like the way you signs dad so i called the cops turns out he'd been dead for a month or for three years anyway oh uh, you know so, forensic files and murder stuff like ali how was that wedding yeah see look at that segue everybody uh, here we uh. go full <laughs> circle so we do want to hear a little bit about your friend marrying a murderer actually i want to know where she met a murderer was this like plenty of felons or no we can't hear you no. Do you know mime? <laughs> I bet she could mime, honestly. Oh, wait. She's in a box. She's scared. She's, she's crushed. Trash but I can tell you what's in the box. It's Allie. Allie's in the box. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yep. There we go. You can hear me now, but I'm not using my microphone. I'm just using my computer. That's okay. That's fine. That works. With it because that's what's happening today. So, um, wait, what is... I'm looking at the chat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't look at the chat. Don't look at the chat. It's going to throw you off. It's going to throw you off. Okay. So my friend met, moved in with, got engaged, and married a murderer all within a pandemic. And I feel like even if he were an accountant, that would be too fast. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I um, went to. But where, what, no, no, no. I need more. I need more. Where did she meet a murderer? Where was she like just strolling around the prison? Did she go meet a different murderer and he was at the next table <laughs> during visiting day? Like, how do you meet a murderer? <laughs> oh, no, it's a really good question. But I will say that that's not the most interesting part of the story. So they that's met it. at. They met a, essentially a dinner party that had ties to like restorative justice. Yeah, and yeah. so he was there. So, um, but uh, let's. So you, they, they, they met at the "You Must Acquit" dinner, is what you're saying. That, uh, that, that's the charity thing they do now. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Cool. It's actually well. Okay, so there's this organization, guys. It's so wild. I'm like still processing this, but there's this organization that puts together perpetrators and victims for these healing journeys, okay. which. I like kind of get because there's a lot of research out there that like abused sure. people become abusers, For but sure. also that sounds 
horrible. Like, if, yeah. my, like if my if someone in my family was, like, murdered, I don't need to go, like, meet a murderer as part of my healing journey. I just feel like there's plenty other... So anyway, so it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark, but he murdered a man. And I know what you guys are thinking. You know what I mean? Like, was it, like, self-defense or, like, you know, like, acceptable forms of murder? <laughs> and um, it was premeditated murder. Okay. And uh, and he's white, so you know he did it. Uh. You know? <laughs> well, that is the good news about, you know, yeah, that's that's generally good. So, yeah. so, 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 so who did he murder? <laughs> okay, so... He had beef with this guy. Is everyone having fun? We're talking about murder. <laughs> so, no, wait, wait, you mean you mean like he had an argument, not actual beef? Because I've killed, I've, I've punched three people over pizza in my life, so this is not about actual <laughs> beef. This is like they actually were angry. That would be a more legitimate motive, really. Never <laughs> <laughs> involved. But he apparently just like didn't like this guy. Decided he was going to kill him. Went to his house. There was an innocent guy. Sleeping on the couch, Anna Hood. Your expression is correct, or you're frozen. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just see jaw trapping. So he goes to this guy's house. There's an innocent man who is crashed on the couch, just like totally innocent guy. Sure. Kills him. He dies. Goes into the room of the guy he means to kill. Shoots him in the face. Leaves him for dead. Unbeknownst to him, that guy lives. Gets addicted to painkillers. Robs a bank also ends up in prison. So first of all, he's not even an A plus murderer. Yeah, I don't, think you, I, don't think you should, I don't think you should marry someone with that lack of follow through. I mean, you gotta make sure the job is done. I mean, this is not someone you wanna marry. This is not husband material if he can't finish one simple job. Jesus. He can't, if he's not in it for the long game, right? you know what I mean? I mean, that's a 50, 50 hit rate, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you're already going to prison forever. You might as well kill the second guy too, if right? You're gonna commit murder you know if you're gonna date a murderer like date an a-plus murderer you know what i mean yeah, so yeah, sure. but really the whole thing i mean on some of it you want your husband to kind of be bad at murder though really if you're gonna marry a murderer you want him to be kind of shitty at murdering the right person oh, you want him to have never probably... you want him to have never even thought about murder if he's sure not. sure no i get that of course but i'm saying if you're gonna bur bu bu marry a murderer you would want to marry one that wasn't good at it i think is probably I better guess. But the craziest thing, too, when you go to a murderer's wedding is that they had a registry, you guys. And first of all, isn't he already registered? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but also, like, I'm sorry, when you're, if you owe a permanent debt to society, like, you could put some charities on your registry. But anyway, when you're looking at someone's registry and he's a murderer, next thing you know, anything could be a murder weapon. You know what sure. I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like, do I get him the pillows? He could murder her with, he could smother her. You know I mean? yeah. do, do I get like a, like, I, I didn't know you could put duct tape on a registry, but all right, I guess I'll buy <laughs> this duct tape cozy and all these duct tape. The story is so absurd. So he, on their registry, I shit you not, because I screenshotted it and I could show this, I could put the screenshot in the jet, but on their registry was a $300 knife set under the sure. tag, most wanted. Well, uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh my god it's like funny but it's also really dark and i'm like oh. very confused about the whole thing and it's also made me think like are my standards too high you know what i mean like i, I regularly break up with men because they don't know the difference between like there there and there and like she's dating a murderer you know what i mean <laughs> i just so it's really you got me there you got me there but you don't know oh that, okay. so. uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's but then, so they got married. So got recently, married. you went to their wedding. What was that yeah. like? Okay, so the guy who lived, they at, and went to prison for robbing a bank. They ended up reconciling in a CNN documentary hosted by Van Jones, which you can go watch. His sentence ends up getting commuted by the governor of California, and now they're buddies. He and the guy that he tried to kill. Which I mean, I guess to be fair, like is pretty cool. I don't know. So the guy that he shot in the face is at the wedding. And at the wedding, both my friend and her husband separately came up to me to be like, are you single? And I was like, oh God. Oh, no. And they were like, you know, I don't want to name names, but the guy, they're like, the guy that he so shot in the he, face. Is, does he still have like, has he got a face? Did they put a face back yeah, on? Yeah, his, fa his oh. face is like together. It's, it's weird. Cause like, I don't want to name names, but this is all like very Googleable and public. <laughs> 
sure. But they wanted to set me up with the guy he shot in the face. And I'm just like, and it's one of those moments where you're like, am I a four? Am I, yeah. am I, <laughs> you know, because I, I just, in what, in what world am I going to go date this man who committed mm. murder? Oh, and he committed murder? I thought he just robbed a bank. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Who spent 10 years in prison? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. robbing a bank. He just got shot in the face. He had a tough time. Yeah. He had painkillers and shot in the face. I mean, come on. Maybe I don't know. A second chance. Any, any prison time, I just feel like, I I don't know. I Maybe some people here did some time, but I just feel like I'm going for men who haven't done some time. Like, that's part of my... I just say, yeah, maybe. You know. Here's my question: At the end of the ceremony, did they, or at at a part during the ceremony, did they promise to stay with each other till death do us part? Because that's the part I think would be kind of fucked up, right? Like well, the crazy thing when you're at a wedding. I, I promise that I'll be with you till one of us dies. Wink. Uh, fucking... I mean, like, I mean, you know, a lot of people say marriage is a prison, so he's really. Uh, Jump wow, yeah, I mean, you know. I guess it's a different form of, like, recidivism. You know, when people, like, after they get out, they go back in. That's what he's done. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's, that's the third marriage is totally recidivism or whatever. Yeah, but it's just tough because it's, like, part of me is, like, there's this guy who's trying to, like, reform his life. And then part of me is, like, oh, my God, Frank just wrote, was it a shotgun wedding? <laughs> <laughs> The jokes kind of have themselves, like ball and chain. Like there's just so much. But that's what was kind of crazy at the wedding because so much of the language we use is about prison and murder, right? Like someone was giving a speech and then I guess said something he shouldn't have said. And he was like, guilty, guilty as charged. And I was like, this is so awkward. Like, it's really rough, but it's also really dark. And I feel bad because this is also a comedy. I mean, I, show, I but... think once, once you've been sentenced to life in prison, I'm sure marriage doesn't seem like that much of a commitment, really, when you're thinking about it. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I mean, it's really, it's um, it's like he went from maximum security prison to, you know, I don't, I guess I don't know my prison systems well enough to make this yeah. joke, really. <laughs> you think he yeah. still pay, Do you think he still pays for blowjobs with cigarettes? Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's probably great at anal. Let's be serious. <laughs> probably, yeah. You know, you know, oh, damn, necessity and all that, mother invention, and you know, that, that but, sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, hey. Um, Joseph, the JoJo looks horrified, and I don't blame her. <laughs> she looks really upset right now. Did all the groomsmen wear uh, uh, jumpsuits, or were they? Did they have suits? <laughs> <laughs> They're all chained together. All the groomsmen are chained together. They have to walk. <laughs> The wedding was at another murderer's house. What the fuck? Okay, here's my yeah. question. How did your friend get to be at this dinner? Is she a lawyer or did her brother get killed on a couch innocently by some other guy that was shooting people in the head? Neither. Neither. Yeah, she just like, she does like entrepreneur coaching and it's, yeah, that's not even, yeah, it's, that's not the craziest part. But, but the other thing is the first time I met him, he showed up wearing a button down shirt with rhinestone buttons, which was funny to me because he went into the prison in the nineties and I was wondering if he was going to frost his tips. You know what I mean? Like he just <laughs> got out and he showed up wearing like a rhinestone. He, he still had the gold goldfish pimp shoes from I'm going to get you sucker with the dead yeah. fish. And then the yes. <laughs> the first thing, he showed up and his shirt, she like twirls him around and on the back is a giant rhinestone skull. And I just feel like if you committed murder at any point, skeletons are off limits. You know what I mean? Like oh. maybe, maybe you don't celebrate Dia de los Muertos. You know what I mean? Like sure. Sure. <laughs> Now, now do we know that is, is, was this a picture of the specific skull of the guy he killed? Maybe like was it a? Was it a... I mean, it was very abstract and artistic, you know, because it was rhinestones. But yeah, probably because mm -hmm. yeah, a skull is a skull. But yeah, I'm just like I don't know. You don't get to go to like murder mystery dinner parties. Like I know <laughs> it. It's you. Uh, <laughs> Miley Kwan wants to know uh, what were the wedding colors? Were they black and white? <laughs> Blood red. Nah. <laughs> I don't think she's kidding. That's probably. I mean, so I'm they're playing kidding. all this up. They're like, "Haha, ha, he's a murderer. Let's just spin. Let's just steer into the skid and do it." No, I think I think they're just so oblivious because yeah. literally she wore blood red, and I was like, "This is crazy." Wow. But, yeah, but it's hard because like she, 
before this was a good friend, but I'm just like, I don't need to hang out with a murderer. Okay, was this, and this I don't think should matter, but like, is he really hot? He's not hot enough, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Like he, he, gotta, you're saying he's manslaughter hot, but not murder hot. Is that what you're saying? He, like he's got to be murdering that pussy. Like he's got. <laughs> I mean, you'd hope. No right? I mean, that's the. Their sex has got to be insane. I mean, yeah, but he's yeah, yeah. He's also oh. killing our friendship, so he's still murdering. <laughs> but, okay. And you know oh, what? You're using God. all this material and murdering with it. So there you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I don't Murder know. I've, I've done, I've experimented with it a little bit on stage, but it is very dark and it's not about me. Like for, you know, I usually talk about myself and my, it's hard when it's like someone else. And, but I also think it does bring up a lot of interesting questions around like, what is the nature of forgiveness? Like, what does it mean for someone to be truly reintegrated into society? And does that reintegration include a subscription to Coffee Meets Bagel? I don't know. You know what I mean? But yeah. like. Well, and I, I think honestly, on some level, I think part of it is, did you reform? Did you become a bif- different person? If you're winking to this the whole time, maybe you didn't. You know, if you're still like kind of high-fiving because it was funny that you murdered that guy that time, maybe it's not the same as if you're like, this haunts me every day and I never want to do this again. I'm going to spend the rest of my life, you know, convincing people, other, other people not to murder. You know, it depends on what they're going for, I guess. I mean, because, oh, hey, look at Steve Hoff's there in a car. Mad. Speaking of murder. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of murder, and what's up, buddy? <laughs> Can I just say, I I walked it like I came in as you guys were like, yeah, you know, if they feel bad about the murder. And I was like, is Allison the guest today? I think I <laughs> <laughs> You know, they they asked. They were like, "Tell us the murder story." But yeah, Steve knows about the murder story. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a fantastic story. It really is. Just wild. You ever dated a murderer, Steve? You ever had anybody hot enough that you could handle that they were a murderer? No, I uh, I married an ex murderer once, but that was. <laughs> <laughs> I've dated a shit ton of shoplifters, but I've never fucking. <laughs> you need to aim higher, Bowers. You know. <laughs> Oh, the, the stuff yeah. on the lower shelf's easier to steal. They're not looking for it. That's true. That's true. Kick it on the ground. Kick it out of the store. Where are you at, Steve? Where are you guys at? Yeah, where are you at? Uh, I am in. Uh, I'm in Port- New Jersey. We have a show at Uncle Vinny's Comedy Club coming up. Nice. Uh, nice. So they, and they, they just and pay you in a fat envelope. They just pay. I love that shirt. Do they just pay you in a fat envelope of cash at the? Uh... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. I need. I need to put. I need to put you guys on my car speakers because I can't hear shit. Okay. I wonder how much he likes that shirt. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna cut it up, make it into stuff, Rach? <laughs> no, we're not. We're not. Doing this stuff <laughs> you, Here's the thing about this shirt. You, I don't think you can legally mail pieces of this shirt. I think it's, 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 yeah, it's Definitely don't think you can cut it up. I think if you try to cut it, it'd break your scissors and all those metal pieces that are that are shining up there real good. Well, well, not only that, but if you mail this, people will assume you're also mailing cocaine. So. <laughs> hey, at least there's not a skull on the back. Let's see the full <laughs> yeah, There's a, If there's a skull on the back, Steve, we're going to be excited. As, as, far, on, as you know, yeah. there's no... There is no, as as far as anybody knows, there's no skull in the in the back. There's nothing in the back. You can't see the uh, sure, yeah, back. I can't, I can't, right. I can't tell. Right. No, uh, there, there's no skull. The back is just more of the ridiculous front. But the reason, that, like, it is a very loud shirt, and I know that, but I'm wearing it, for the most part, it will be under a suit jacket. So there will just be, like, little flashes of loud show. That's what I'm yeah, I'm, I'm okay yeah. with these days. By the way, that shirt is black and silver. It's very muted. I'm like, that's not loud at all. It's just it's a cool pattern. It's just a very complicated <laughs> Well, it's shiny, though. It's very shiny. It's very shiny. Yeah. yeah, I like the shiny. Oh, my God, it is. It's very shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, the good news about wearing shit like this, you never get hit by a car. Like, I, I can walk across the road. And, you know, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like being a traffic cone. It's amazing. You can bike at night. If, good. if you do get hit by a car, the car bounces off. <laughs> my brother got hit by a car in college and it totaled the car and he had to call an ambulance on the girl that hit him because she went into shock and it didn't hurt her at all and it rolled off the car um, Steve, people are starting to bid on your shirt a thousand dollars worth of starting bid <laughs> Here's the thing. 
I genuinely have to wear this on stage tonight. I'm not on the bus right now. I do not have extra clothing. But if someone wants to give me $1,000 for this dumb shirt, fucking do it. I'm fine. <laughs> I can easily get this shirt again for another 9 7 So if you want to bid 1000 that's fine. Oh, buddy. I think it needs to come with a dance. <laughs> that level of sparkle i want to see some razzle dazzle well the dance is 20 extra dollars so it's a thousand twenty for the lap dance that comes with this shirt. I, I love the idea that you're like steve will not sell a shirt he has too much dignity not for a thousand dollars but he'll dance for 20 that's no problem <laughs> No, no, you won't dance for twenty. You'll just dance it for twenty extra, or the thousand. You know, it, 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 it has to come with it. It's part of the deal. Speaking of that race, we got any tips coming? We haven't checked we at do. all. We do. Yeah, we do. And also, um, Bowers, you want to announce because uh, it's halfway through the show already. Um, top tipper today, what they get? Oh yeah, uh, top tipper today. They're just in time for Steve being here. Mm, yeah. Um, let's. I hope go it doesn't bring the... back any bad memories. Right. We're gonna go with the "I'm Still a Winner" presented to Steve Hofstetter participation trophy. So <laughs> we from the the fake trivia contest. We accident. So Ali, we rigged a trivia contest where Steve would come in fourth to Rachel and just hurt his feelings. That's and then rude. <laughs> I told Rachel. Yes, yes, that Rachel. was part of the joke, Rachel. You did it win, was. and that was part of it. You knowing more trivia than, oh, yeah, than right. more geography than Steve, like he, it was gonna make him very sad. That was part of the joke, you know. I mean, the only thing worse than if Ben would have known more, right? But anyway, uh, so the so this is the participant trophy. It says Steve Hofstetter on it, so you can proudly present it. Uh, and so yeah, we'll mail that to you. So if you're the top tipper today, you can be uh, get the Steve Hofstetter participation trophy when he uh, lost. By the, the way, came in fourth to yeah. Rachel. Yeah, I. Uh, we did rig it. We did all... rig it. <laughs> yeah, fourth to all of you. So, <laughs> by the way, Bowers, the idea that you think I was I would only be embarrassed losing to Rachel and not to also you. Like, that's ridiculous. Uh, okay. <laughs> now he's insulted. Oh, it doesn't feel so good, does it, Bowers, huh? No, I'm saying uh, that you, I've beaten all the other trivia contests. You would not be upset. if You'd, you'd, have, been, you'd have been best if I'd have beaten geography, too, because I know a lot of geography. I've been everywhere. I don't know anything about ra random Steph Andrews Australia shit, but I know, I know most of the United States shit. <laughs> I don't know where you're Derwin like, is or, like, or Melbourne. Yeah, or... Like, I know, you're like, I know plenty of geography about one specific place. That's tons. Hey, hey, if we had a contest where all the pilot stations are, I know every exit of every pilot station. <laughs> in the of Let's go. That is true. That is that would be like Slumdog Pilot Air for you. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, what's what what what? I'd be like, that's not a pilot. That's a fucking Stuckies, motherfucker. You can't trick me. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not answering your travel center bullshit. That's not a pilot. Uh, look, that's just because you don't like the travel hot dogs. You don't know where any of this stuff is, but they have the best hot dogs. Anyway. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Some generals that have come in so far. Um, so we had uh, Dana say, dolls are so scary. My great aunt had one from the 1800s. I was so scared of that damn doll that I wouldn't walk by it to the bathroom. <laughs> I absolutely agree. I, by the way, I absolutely agree. My mother had this had this doll that was like it was like life size, kid size. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like you know, not a, not adult yeah. size, but it was like you know, three three feet tall or whatever. And it was missing two fingers. And <laughs> oh god! I, I know it wasn't supposed. Like obviously, you know, something happened to the doll. But part of me is like, is the doll showing us what it's gonna do to us? <laughs> uh steve so just to let you know so last night i was involved in a paranormal investigation at post town elementary in in what? ohio so the the stand-up special so ryan singer he's he's filming his special tomorrow but it's mixed in with like two nights of a paranormal investigation at this school and so i was up there last night and one of the rooms like is just creepy as fuck it's just a whole doll room and holy shit it was freaky i stayed there till like 1 a.m it was you guys uh, remember when i dialed in from my childhood bedroom because it was basically yeah. that <laughs> it was, yeah, i know it was it was it, it explained was, a lot it was really upsetting yeah. for all of us yeah wait so what happened last night 
Um, so it's just like, it, it wasn't anything big while I was there anyway. Like there was some sounds and some like noise making and like EVP, like reading stuff. But what I did see is there's a, a guy that lives there. He's this older dude, been there for 17 years. The house is connected to the school. And yeah. he showed me videos. They have surveillance cameras all over the school of he was sleeping one night and you see his foot like jerk and then something rises like under like a, a blanket or something <laughs> and you see his arms flail up and like he starts like pushing and you see him get yanked like not under the covers on top of the covers his his leg gets yanked and he gets off the bed like gets completely yanked off the bed like in paranormal activity or some shit and he goes, but one thing you didn't notice during that, you rewind and there's this black, like shadow, weird, like looking thing on the bed next to him. And at the point where he gets yanked off the bed onto the floor, this thing jumps off the bed, like on him. No idea what it is or, and I was like, so, how do you still live there? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's where I go. That's where I go. This, I would believe it was real if he moved. Oh, like if he if he I immediately he's really was into like, it. Fuck this, I'm going to Nebraska, I would believe it. But the fact now, that he stayed now, there what's what what's dumber, sleeping with a ghost or a murderer, you think? Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> not everyone Same runs thing. from these situations. Yeah. He's really yeah. into I love it. the idea. I love the idea that he's like, Yeah, I was yanked out of my sleep and passed on by a ghost, but I mean the rent is only two fifty a month, so you really can't beat it. Uh, well, you know, maybe he just had sex like Ben during the pandemic, and anything grabbing him out of bed would be happy. You know? <laughs> he, no, he, he was just like, you know, it comes with utilities. I mean, what am I going to do? Right? <laughs> no, he comes with utilities. Oh God! There was right. another video where he got deep pants. Where he's like leaning up against his bed, like doing something. You see his arms like across, and the surveillance is from the back. And you see like, and it, it, he, in case he was napping or something, one side of his shorts goes down, and then another, and you start to see a little crack. And then literally, like his entire, it's like something you see just like jerked, all complete down. And he got deep pants. He saw his whole butt. Mm -hmm. I what? I truly <laughs> think that this guy is just fucking someone who wears camouflage. <laughs> Or there's also an elaborate ruse to show him weirder and weirder pictures eventually that his pants get ripped down and it's from the front. I mean, is he's not just tricking you into seeing pictures of his dick? I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. uh, upload the video. I'll get the video. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, and then and then one day, one day I got to show you what happened, huh? Look at this, what happened. <laughs> yeah. No, look real close. You can see ghost spit. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Fuck. All oh. right. <laughs> By the way, Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Bit is for sure playing at the Roxy. <laughs> but did he decorate? That's what I want to know. You know, <laughs> some people with ghosts, that's like their kink. Like, did you, there's, there are people that like claim to, there's one woman that claimed to marry a ghost and then, yeah, Kira is nodding. She's seen it. Yep. Some girl m married a ghost and then divorced the ghost. Mm. Well, yeah, because he cheated on her. That ghost was a dick. I saw that whole thing. Like, that ghost could not keep it in his sheet. Uh, all right, more general. Yeah, my, my, ex, my ex actually thought she married a ghost, but it turned out I was just really pale. Uh, <laughs> there it is. It's pronounced opaque. <laughs> Um, so top tipper of the show so far, front row Stephen Val. Just because this has turned into, so sent 30 bucks, just because this has turned into one of the best fuck it fan Fridays ever. Thanks, Allie. Ben who, he said. Oh, oh shit. That's oh. oh. fired, Steve. Wow, wow. <laughs> He's been replaced. I'll be here every Friday. Oh. <laughs> On time. Uh, Dana said, Allie, the best conversation topic. So thanks for coming with that. Pretty disturbing, but I'm glad y'all like it. Oh yeah. This crowd, of course, they're gonna like it. Sure. <laughs> uh, Steph Andrews, Allie, um, to feel better about telling your friend's story, the Nazi guy I went on a date with a year later went to jail for a hate crime and is currently spending four to seven years in jail for assault. Oh, did I tell you that this guy, when I watched the documentary, it turned out he also used to be a skinhead? <laughs> oh wow, double dip. This gets worse and worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Now, wait, did he stop becoming a skinhead and not be racist? Like, did he reform that part too, or is he still just... Or or he just grew hair. Uh, <laughs> he did grow hair. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. But it's wild that I... 
first of all, did not see that coming, but also, uh, oh. I've used that all the time. I think I used that last time I told you the story. But, yeah, but for some reason it really shocked me, but I don't know why it was so shocking that like a murderer would also be a Nazi. You know what I mean? But Wow, well, skinhead yeah. and Nazi aren't the same thing. No, mm. they're pretty close. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, they're not the same thing in the way that my shirt and your jacket aren't the same thing, but they also kind of are. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. No, but family, that shirt right? and that jacket do not go together. Do not ever. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't, you can't wear them together. I mean, you know, a skinhead and a Nazi might, you know, be upset with each other, but at the same time, they kind of believe in the same thing. Yeah, they just hate wrong, the wrong people, they th- each other think. Like you, you, anyway, I don't know what we're doing. Rachel, anything else? We, uh, yes, we're we gonna find Dr. Uh, so we have, let's see. Um, Jason said, uh, Steve, if I sit in the front row at your show with my designated heckler shirt, but don't heckle, still fire and brimstone? No, no, I would think it was funny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, would, we there would be fire and brimstone, but only from Allie's friend's husband. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we don't know where the risks are. Leedy might attack yeah. him, but Steve won't. <laughs> Leedy might go after him. Yeah. Oh, he is so brutal. It's fantastic. <laughs> the problem with me telling this story publicly is that it's really, you don't want to piss off a murderer. You know what I mean? I need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, look, you only get one murder and get out. So he knows he's already committed his murder. So you're probably safe. Well, you can't murder and anyone. we've discussed that he only has a 50 50 hit rate, so I might be okay. Yeah, you know, just make sure you have somebody <laughs> sleep on your couch. You, you sleep on my couch? Why? No reason. I just, you know, it's your security system. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Abby, you're a little bit late with that cautionary thought. That's true. I think it's. <laughs> I've I avoided think... saying the names, but you know what? I'm just going to drop the CNN documentary into the chat if anyone's interested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's time for two truths and a lie, guys. Yeah, let's, oh, yeah. Hold we on. Two let's two catch up on Tim's part. It's a couple more things. Game yet. Okay. okay. Um, so we had, uh, let's see, Tam said, thanks for the killer story, Allie. Um, always a joy <laughs> to have you on the show. Nice. Yeah. Marielle, top tip for 50 bucks uh, for really? Steve's shirt or trophy. We'll see how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and They're actually oh my God, what the fuck made the same so- material. <laughs> 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 yeah, we actually melted down the other eight trophies to make them into that shirt. So I just saved the one. <laughs> um, and oh my God, what the fuck Kate thinks by is up to $32 um, before or right after Mary gave top tipper. So they're in the running. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do, you, is it two truths and a lie? Is that what we're doing? Yep. Brad Clark. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Brad, Brad Clark. Two truths and a lie. All right. Hey. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Hey. Um, okay. So the first one is... Um, You're in outer space. I... <laughs> <laughs> that is oh, sorry. maybe technically true. But... Okay, first one. Um, I jumped off a 60-foot high bridge. Okay. Uh, the second one is I got kicked out of high school twice. Okay. And the third one is I walked off of a job after four hours. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking the job was at this bridge. And so that <laughs> Which amazingly enough was how he got kicked out of high school. <laughs> I think you bungee jumped. You look like a kind of guy who have done that once, talked into it by a girl you didn't you thought you liked, and then at the end you ended up breaking up with her. So I think that's uh, the, that one's true. I think uh, what was the one you walked off a job what? I walked off a job after four hours. Yeah, I think you worked at Long John Silver's, and when you dropped the fish into the cooker, it burned you, and that was bullshit, so you left. I think the second one's true. The other two are lies. That's where I'm going. What's the second one? I got kicked out of high school twice. Yeah, you look like you got kicked out of high school twice. (laughs) That's true. true. It's two truths and a lie. Yeah, I know. I'm figuring that out now. I'm I'm now going back. (laughs) I'm now figuring that out. Yeah, three truths. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. So he definitely definitely jumped. He definitely got kicked out of high school. I don't think you walked off a job after three hours or four hours. That's That's the lie. I think you'd stick with it. I don't think you jumped because that's fucking high. I've done some cliff jumping. That's high. 
Brad, I think he had, a, I think he had a bungee cord. I don't think he was just jumping off a 60-foot building and landing on his feet. He's not a cat. Bungee I'm cord, concerned. You gotta be much higher than 60 feet. I'm concerned that he's fucking with us and they're all, like, kind of true, but, like, it wasn't 60 feet. It was, like, 50 feet. So yeah, we don't, better we don't, not be against the that. rules. That's against the rules. You can't do that. That's to be, you can't just fuck with the numbers. That's one Really? Of the, Is that a rule? That's yes. one of the rules. Yeah, we have, we have a rule that he's like, ah, 59 feet, motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We take That's him up back. Rule. That's a yeah, good rule. Can't be like, I have a four yeah, if, he, if he does that, that he actually, true. if he does that, we have to, we make what it, the lie was come true. <laughs> <laughs> or we kill him. Well, oh. yeah. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go with the first one, but given this new information, I'm gonna go with you didn't get kicked out of high school twice. Okay. Steve. Yeah, I'm, I'm also going with that one. I think that I think that Brad has an attitude of like, fuck this shit. If like I feel I I can see that from him on a <laughs> shitty job where he's just like absolutely not. I'm not going further than four hours. And I think that I think that the sixty foot and look, Rachel definitely knows more. But the fact that she was like, no, that's not the right height for cliff diving or bungee jumping scares me. Both that I'm wrong and also that she happens to know that offhand. So, <laughs> I'm gonna, but but I am gonna say I think he did that, and I think he's proud of it, which is why he said it. And so I don't think he got uh, kicked out of high school twice. I think he got kicked out of high school because he was in a blood feud with his astronomy teacher, and that's why he has all these backgrounds. It's still going <laughs> all these years later. I think right, got, Brad, yeah, if he got kicked, um, if he did get kicked out of high school, it was for correcting his astronomy teacher. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brad, which one was the lie? I am very confident. Uh, the bridge is the lie. I knew it. It's so <laughs> fucking high. It's so. Oh, wait, high. no, I didn't go with that one. That's what I was gonna go with. Damn. All right. Okay. I was so, gonna change it. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh. Well, I, I, I will say the bridge is a lie for me. The reason I thought of that is because my mother did it when she was a teenager. There was oh, a there was a, a river bridge near here, and they went out there with her friends and. Some of them were going to jump. Apparently, everybody else chickened out, and she jumped anyway. Uh, Brad, where are you, Brad, where like are you from? Like Butch Cassie and Sundance Kid kind of shit. Jesus. Uh, North Alabama. This is the Tennessee River Bridge. Yeah, yeah Brad, Brad's from North Alabama. Uh, actually, jumping off a 60-foot bridge is how his mother gave birth to him. Ah. <laughs> Alabama, that's what they call high school graduation. And not that many people do it. Um, how we left so, so what was the other? What was the other one? You you yeah, kicked uh, out of school twice. Yeah, how, why'd you yes. get out of school? What was that? Um, so I, w I was in high school, and my parents moved me into this Christian school that I didn't really want to go to. Sure. So um, I was the there was this day when the teacher left her keys sitting out there, and I just kind of took them and tossed them in somebody's locker, and apparently they don't like that at christian schools so they kicked me out well they don't like that at, they don't like that at any school honestly no. they teachers keys they're really in a random locker they're they're pretty pissed no matter what school you're in it's not that's not blame the christians on this one but now was that no, just you, don't care we don't care ha, did you get yeah. kicked out twice for that same incident or was something else happened? no they um then i went back to public school and then um i basically just got bored with school and stopped going and they eventually just expelled <laughs> me again <laughs> I don't want to no. go. Okay, fine. Stay home. <laughs> I like the idea that you were like, you were like, I quit. And they're like, no, you're fired. <laughs> yeah. You try yeah. to break up with a guy, but he breaks up with you first sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah, fire me. It, I quit. Except it was the North Alabama public school system that dumped him. <laughs> yeah, that's like getting broken up with by a murderer. <laughs> It, no, because that guy sealed the deal. Actually, uh, yeah. They, they they called him into the office like, Brad, you've learned all you can here. No, I mean we have nothing else to teach you. It's seventh grade. It's time to go. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I I do like the idea though that like at a at another school, you wouldn't be penalized for like putting the keys in someone's locker because they're just like, oh, he learned to share. This is good. He's learning about community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. So, so what again? What is all the space shit about? What's that about? Did you drop out of school and then became an astronaut? What's happening? What's what's all the? Oh, space? when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, but now I actually work for NASA. So, 
You're a dropout success story. <laughs> you Mark Zuckerberg. This guy works for NASA. What do you, what do, you do for NASA, Brad? I, I'm a software developer. Okay. Cool. Oh. You were Good. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah which is why exactly. because oddly enough, Huntsville, Alabama, I know I was joking about North Alabama, but Huntsville, Alabama has like a whole bunch of rocket scientists there because that's where that's one of the places NASA is based, right? Yeah, the Marshall Space Flight Center is here. So, like, the Saturn V rocket was designed here. We're making the, the SLS stuff here. Yeah. And, you guys have Space the difference Camp, too, between... right? Between... Yes, we have Space Camp as well. Space yeah, camp. The difference between the average IQ in Huntsville, Alabama and five miles from Huntsville, Alabama yeah. is amazing. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that that's that's math so complex that people five miles from uh, Huntsville couldn't do it. They'd have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Rach. Well, well, thanks, Brad. You're, Brad, you're, Brad, you're, you're a badass <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <Right? laughs> All right, guys. Let's start to wrap this up. We had a couple generals, and then we'll do the game. Um, can we do we two? Had... Can we do two Abby words real fast? I want to do two words. Catch us up. Yeah. Uh, if Abby she wants backwards. to start to type those in while I read the generals. All right. Um, front row Steve and Val sent in another 30 bucks. So they are the high tippers at 60 bucks. Um, and they said <laughs> this should put us in first place for the trophy. And you are, in fact, correct. Um, it's ironic that you were in first place for a fourth place trophy, but congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I think the fourth, wait, I think the fourth highest tipper should get it. <laughs> there, there, there's nine trophies. There's nine trophies. We can... <laughs> at, at some other time. <laughs> Did everybody, oh, I thought everybody else froze. Um, nope. Nope. Okay, so Abby's words. All right, so Abby's going to give us two doctor words, and we're going to try to guess what they are, Allie. So we got to guess what these words Mammillary are. Mammillary body. Mammillary body. Okay, that's when a girl's all boob, when she's just uh -huh. whole, when her whole body's one big bit. She's in a mammary body. It's fun. I'll take it. <laughs> is it like the milk the thing that jody like the what did i tell jody to do milk me, milk me. oh my god milk me oh my god milk me <laughs> yeah that's what she said oh my so, god milk me so, so is it the milk so you're saying you're saying this you miss the milk, a lot you're saying it's the milk sack oh look at the, the val and, and steve are doing the milking uh steve what do you think of mammary what is it called a mammary body mammillary uh, mammillary body hmm all right. um, a mammillary Abby. body. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna guess because it, it's got to be something with with boob, just because we know that mammary means that. So, yeah. I feel yeah. unless she's throwing us off the track and it's about mammals. I don't know. Oh, would I do something misleading? Oh. Yes, yes she would. Wait, I gotta guess. I gotta guess. Uh, What's your guess, Taylor? It's a, uh, old timey. You know, when people had no class or whatever, it's a old timey doctor speak for a uh, man who's a now a woman. <laughs> Ma'am O'Leary. Ma'am Larry? <laughs> Ma'am Now, he has, yep, now he's a memory body. He, yep. he, got, he got the surgery. Now he's a memory body. I, I think it's I think it's a doctor speaking to speaking to a couple where the guy's name is Larry and he doesn't know the woman's name. Ma'am <laughs> <laughs> O'Leary. Uh, see, see, this is what's terrible about going fast, about going last, because I heard you guys all take all the boob ones. You all grab the titties, and I, <laughs> and I left with nothing. I, so um, I feel like maybe I'm going to mammillary. Mammillary. I know it also sounds like mammals, but I feel like that's not true. Um, I'm going to say I feel like I want to take it to the dick because we already covered the tatas. So... I'm going to say the mammillary body is, I'm really drowning over here, guys. I'm drowning <laughs> in milked. mammillary uh, bodies. Yeah, because you already milked this for all it was worth. I, all I know is that a mammillary body in motion tends to stay in motion. Abby, what, uh, what is I'm going to say a mammillary that? body is the titties of a mammal. It's a mammary on a mammal, a mamma mamma mamma. Whale titties, whale titties. All right. All right, Abby, what you got? Malama, malama. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, it's, it's pronounced actually malama, and it's all about women's rights and education. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, what is it? What is it? Mammillary bodies are two round bumps on the underside of the brain um, in the posterior hypothalamus, but they look kind of like boobs. <laughs> uh, so they're, they're they look like boobs so they named them boobs because doctors are also 12 this is great. that just blew my mind no no first of all i was positive it was about the tatas so i couldn't even 
I couldn't even entertain that it was <laughs> about the brain and then that science is run by a bunch of men who named it after titties. Yep. Now I want to know how many things are named after titties. Just because <laughs> it's is it's that like most medical it. terms? If you had any idea know. how many of the mnemonics that I learned in medical school to remember different things are fairly dirty, yes. The sense Can of we have one? Completely... Can we have one of those? Can we have wait, one of those? Wait, before, before you tell them, I also want to know, like, how big a loser is the doctors who named that were that they were like, hey, you see this thing's in the brain? Kind of look like boobs, right? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> boobs? Well, Steve, cool. it's almost like people in medical school are busy studying and not getting laid. <laughs> yeah. that's true that's true reaper media said it best so we've all got boobs on the brain <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> nice all right one more one more more Deb. uh the the next term is nursemaid's elbow Ooh. nurse maid's elbow that's that a wrestling the move. You get. <laughs> that, that is the that is the injury you get from changing a bedpan too frequently Ah, nice. That nice. Sounds realistic. Wait, this is a good game. I could play this game all day and fail. Uh, nursemaid's <laughs> elbow. <laughs> I was thinking maybe. Well, now I'm just going right back to the. But maybe it's like from delivery when you catch the baby, you got your elbow. I don't know. I'm also. I can't. Nursemaid's elbow. Is I it from? Like it's gotta be something real sexist. Bottle feeding it's, it's, preemies because you're kind of like this. I don't think it's, it's a like, disease. I think it's a thing on the body. Is it a thing on the body? The nursemaid's elbow. Is the dude jerks off too much when he gets like. Yeah. It's like it's so much that it gets. It's lonely. Like maybe he dresses it up as a nurse. His hands. Is dressed you're, talking about, up you're, talking, you're talking about. You're talking about cockle tunnel uh, syndrome. That's a thing. <laughs> you're talking about cockle tunnel syndrome. That's a thing. Getting a cockle tunnel syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Technical term for cockle tunnel syndrome, <laughs> nursemaid's elbow. <laughs> I, I, I think it's the back of the elbow where you can give a shot very easily. What, what's the answer, Abby? Nursemaid's elbow is an injury that happens to small children because their their ligaments are looser. So when a child gets pulled this way very sharply by the arm, the radial head here can slip out from under the ligament that holds it by the elbow. It's nice and easy to put back in. It makes you look magic. Oh. Your job right during the physical exam, and the kids hours. all better. By the way, Abby, that's actually how Allie's friend's husband killed that guy. <laughs> Pulled a right out From the skin. turnbuckle, the nursemaid's elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Abby. Thanks, Abby. That was fun. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. And it's before the game, game. this just in, Mary L tipped another 20 bucks. So she's the top tipper so far with 70 bucks total. Nice. So nice, thanks, nice, Mary. Nice. All right, so the game today is Murder a Song. And uh, the unpaid entry that I really liked was from Gus Walsh, Knife, hey. Knife, Baby. <laughs> nice. Oh, Great. Uh, so video front row. Let's see. Wait, before, uh, before you do this, I'm going to go try to murder a show. Nice. So, kill it, kill I'm gonna, it. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the good the good news is is we don't need a spotlight because I'm just gonna wear this shirt. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bye, see you later. Bye. Have a great show. Uh, Stephen all, Valley, all the mob first. guys, we said hello. Mm -hmm -hmm. Too late. So we've got a few. We're gonna sing them for you. Oh good. <laughs> While my guitar gently weeps over your still warm corpse. Dan <laughs> <laughs> my man, even if his name's Ted Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> this one's by a famous band called the Fine Young Hannibals. <laughs> I ate my lady. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so tasty. Ooh, ooh. I ate my lady, but she's not sitting well. <laughs> <laughs> Love the duet. Ah. You thank you very, very much. <laughs> Those are so good. 
Uh, Greg. Holy crap, I gotta follow Prairie Home Companion? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a good start. Uh, I got, uh, Janie's got a gun that matches the ballistics of seven previous murders. <laughs> real the first half of this is a legit song um several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave grooming with a pick and some of the fuzzies ate some shrooms and yada 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 they killed the guy <laughs> <laughs> angles okay i got a bunch um i'm gonna sing mine too um you've lost that living feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I a weighted body under troubled water. <laughs> and then um the Michael Jackson classic, Killy Jean. <laughs> <laughs> and um this one is um stabbed by OJ twelve times. <laughs> <laughs> I call that the Nicole um, Smith. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Angles. Yeah. Uh, Anna. Oh, I've got three. I have Army Hammer Time. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, and um, also mm, Chop. <laughs> <laughs> and free falling after Rachel shows you off a roof. <laughs> uh, Steph. Um I have um there's a murder on the dance floor. <laughs> which doesn't really change the lyrics of the song. And I have, this is the greatest corpse. <laughs> <laughs> really shit. Ah. I'm done. <laughs> Rebecca. Uh, I'm going to have to apologize for my horrible singing. Um, and I would drag your corpse 500 miles and I would drag it 500 more just to be the one who drops your sorry ass outside your parents' door. Oh, God! You oh, killed him in the corner of his parents' um, house? Oh. Did you guys see that they There's found my Ryan Laundry's body? Because that's what this reminds me of. Oh, right. oh, oh, oh. And this one more. It started with a kiss. Never thought it would come to this. Blood splatter on the wall. Decapitated head in my freezer. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Rebecca, I'm gonna have to have you uh, spin your camera around that room slowly so I make sure there's not blood all over the wall. That sounds a little too autobiographical, my friend. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We have a legal obligation to report any of that. <laughs> right? Like, the point where we have to call somebody, right? So she's in England. I don't think they care about murder there. I think she's fine. Callie. I've just got one. I've got um, Take Out Your Mama by the Shotgun Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sam. I have, um, who do you think you are? Give me back my jar of hearts. <laughs> oh, God. And she's got Betty Davis eyes in the freezer. <laughs> Anna D. Hi. Um, were we not doing shitty doodles today? Because I did a couple for sure. Fun. Yeah, yeah, please. Oh, man, that's fine. Okay. Um, we have our blood red bride. Yeah. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, Frosted well, tips. He has, mo- he has a mohawk. I love that too. Of course he does. Um, we've got uh, Buddy in bed with his apparition, and the question is, uh, what's it going to be today? Dragged out of bed or pants? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I had to, because of the story for Brad, um, jumping off the bridge, saying, "I quit." <laughs> <laughs> Really good. <laughs> okay, um, I'll send the extra five bucks. I got three. Um, first to mind is simply killer. 
killer time. <laughs> nice. A yeah. uh, couple from Elton John. I'm still stabbing better than I ever <laughs> uh, And then his other classic, Don't Go Breaking My Neck. <laughs> I love him. Okay, that's it. Nice. Abby. Uh, instead of gold digger, I have grave digger. <laughs> <laughs> and walk like a mortician. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy. Oops, I stabbed one again. <laughs> my life got lost in sex games. Crazy, I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm feeling so blue. I knew you'd love me as long as you wanted. And then someday I'd poison the hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. I love a song that ends with death at the very end. I like that. New Zealand Tina. <laughs> Chucky in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can talk. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I've got an Eminem one. Um, I'm going to try and sing it. I love the way you die. <laughs> <laughs> and J Lo's hit song, Stabbed on the Floor. <laughs> nice. Berman. Yep. So I have one uh, Lady in Red Rum. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh. Any other audience members want to do one on camera? All right, these are the rest of the entries. I think I can stop asking that and they'll just yell going forward. All right, so the rest of the entries. Dash, River of Screams. <laughs> uh, Cynthia Cresswell, what if I murder you by stabbing outward? Uh, oh my God, what the fuck is next? Bye. The police, I'll be hunting you. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, they also had Killing Me Softly. I didn't have to change a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they had, uh, oh my God, what the fuck are things by? Had Salt and Peppers, Let's ch Talk About Death, baby. <laughs> <laughs> talk about you, but not me. I'm going to kill you, <laughs> and you're going <laughs> to. You punched it up. Us. Nice job. <laughs> uh, they also had uh, Van Hatt. Uh, Van Halen, I think, uh, stab the night away. <laughs> nice. And then they had stab in the name of love. <laughs> Dave Adler's The Proclaimers, I'm gonna kill. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my God, what fucking thanks by had this entry is on behalf of Roller Dragon. I chalk the line. <laughs> oh my God. Fuck. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> That's a great one. These oh, are all so too close to home for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patrick Yokely had, uh, 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 staying unalived, staying unalived. <laughs> <laughs> staying alive, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a struggle. Patrick also had stabbing you time after time. <laughs> You know a fun joke I've been doing during the pandemic? You know how you're supposed to sing happy birthday when you, when you wash your hands? I just sing really loud, staying alive while I wash my hands and see if everybody goes, that's the CPR song, stupid. I, I've only had it happen twice, but I've been doing it a bunch. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, we also had Jack Dostal. Uh, instead of I want to be sedated, it was premeditated. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> Well, not the one he actually killed was not premeditated. The person he tried to kill it was, you know what I mean? So like. Yeah, so he's a bad planner. Yeah. <laughs> How'd they plan yeah. the wedding? Six. Ah. <laughs> he did. Oh, yeah. Ah. Fair play. Oh, my God. They don't know where they're going for their honeymoon because he's still on parole. Oh, well, she better not go someplace where there's no extradition. That's for sure. Go to a place where they can ex extradite him if he kills her. That's for sure. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. So Abby had, since you've been gone, no no officer. I have no idea where she went after she walked away from the bed. 
Flog sauce dragon. Okay, might nice. be my new favorite word or uh, YouTube name. Flog sauce dragon had take another little piece of my heart. Well, no, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and that's all of it. All right, man. There's some really good ones. I Perfect. really liked. Uh, uh, I'm still stabbing by Anna. I like Janie's got a gun, seven bodies on it from Greg. Uh, mm -hmm. You've lost that living feeling from angles. I almost had Anna with uh, with uh, Army Hammer Time was what I was gonna win, but I chalked the line right there at the end of Roller Dragon was really good. So I'm going with I chalked the line. Allie, what was your favorite? Man, they were there were so many good ones. Thank you all. I believe this was in my honor for surviving a murderer's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is when the trash truck is here. Is that, can everyone hear that? Okay. Make sure I he's not it. driving it. <laughs> um, make sure there are no bodies in it so uh, i loved don't go breaking my neck i loved army hammer time but i actually loved lady in red rum because there were like a couple layers there for me nice, nice one, uh taylor do you want to vote yeah i definitely uh i chalked the line it was okay fantastic um i loved that i ate my lame lady uh army hammer time but roller dragon congratulations i chalked the line that one's Amazing. Great entry. Collect your prize at sdscshow.com. Very cool. Allie, do you have any? Oh, man. So I did a Disney focus because, as we okay. all know, that's what I sound like. So um, I had <laughs> Under the Sea is where I drowned. <laughs> <laughs> I had Part of Your Afterworld. <laughs> From Mulan, instead of I'll make a man out of you, I'll make a hitman out of you. <laughs> um, circle of life and death uh, <laughs> let it go to the grave um <laughs> can you feel my knife tonight can nice. you feel my knife tonight? okay uh uh a whole new cell okay whole new cell <laughs> uh, instead of kiss the girl kill the girl Sure. You gotta kill the girl. Uh, and then also, okay, be prepared for your court case. Um, <laughs> when you wish upon a sex crime. I don't know. I tried. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Instead of, like, you got a friend in me, I had you've got an accomplice in me. <laughs> uh, no. And then from Enchanted, that's how you know he killed her. <laughs> and then also... Last one from Frozen. For the first time in forever, I can go outside on chaperoned. Ah! <laughs> Allie, I want to say that you fill Ben's spot perfectly because you have a million game entries just like he does. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but they make sense. Uh, you know. Makes sense. Allie's makes sense. They do make yes, sense. Yeah, uh, ours, I don't have I got, any. I got one. I got sweet home alibi. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Nice one. Um, yeah. How about, so for the Night King game, murder a movie? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. A few good like, men murders. A few good men murders. Oh, I also had instead of someday my prince will come, someday the police will come. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> And quick update for Top Tipper. So front row Steve and Val said, back the F off. We want the trophy. And then tipped 80. Uh, so they're at a total of 85. But then Marielle said, what the heck? Oh. And she got a total of 95. A so more. You only have like two more minutes. Um, OK, that's it. All right. You I think we're help good. each other. Go, 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 go. Allie, how, how do we find you? T tell us what do you got coming up. You got any shows coming up? Oh, I'm see? at Allie Goldie across all social media. Allie underscore Goldie. I put it in the chat. And I don't have any gigs coming up, but I hope so soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, as, as for me, you can find me on Origin Stories next week with Greg Proops on Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Uh, my Patreon dropped today, so check that out. Patreon.com backslash Bowers Comedy. $8 a month. It's just my social media, but just come check that out. There's videos up there already and some fun memes, and I'll put stuff up every day. It's going to be cool. Uh, and then on December 22nd, I'm headlining Helium Comedy Club in Indianapolis when I'm back for Christmas. So if anybody's in the Indianapolis area or wants to make a trip, trip that's like the Tuesday before, uh, before Christmas, so it's probably not going to be a huge night, but we should have a good time. So come check that out. Uh, Rach, anything to catch up on before we get the audience out? Uh, front row Steve and Val are in the lead with 115 total. This just Ooh. in. 
Um, and that. then also, lastly, Owinga Boingo tipped and said his condolences to the friends and family of I, is it Helena Hutchins um, around mm -hmm. the, yeah that tragedy that happened with Alec Baldwin. So Ooh, yeah, yeah, that was fucked up. Um, I thought you froze for a second. Yep. I got to read the tip. So thanks for, thanks for that catch up of being really sad right there at the end. That was good. Uh, anyway, <laughs> well, it was a show about murder. Yeah, well, it works all the way out there at the end. Uh, audience, thanks so much. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We have a show tomorrow. We have a show tomorrow. Rach will not be here, but Bert himself will be here to Bert help will out. will be here. And ben will be back. And uh, tomorrow's going to be fun. So come check that out. Uh, and this just in Marielle tipped another 20. That just makes her even. So she's oh, tied with what we're seeing about. So what are you guys in the last couple off. minutes? Oh, uh, shit. Need to up oh, just a couple shit. bucks. So I just also want to shout out our Patreon SDSC. We've got two new patrons. We've got the girl with the cane is now at Isolation Nation level. Welcome. And uh, Anna D is uh, Anna Dory at the Isolation Nation level. So awesome. thanks for joining. And tomorrow's show, we have Mike Baldwin and Mary Santora will be back. So that's very cool. So Those are two of our favorite comics. So they'll be here. Uh, yeah. So Allie, so, so most, thanks so much, audience. We'll see you tomorrow. Allie, thank you for filling in today. We appreciate it. Sorry I gave you the wrong time. I will never do that again. And also, if, <laughs> yeah. I, ever say six, if I ever say six o'clock again, know that I'm stupid and it's three. But uh, anyway, <laughs> we love you. We'll see you next time. And uh, and uh, looks like front row Steve and Val are in the lead. They tipped ten addition, uh, the twenty extra dollars, which is ten more than Mary just tipped. But maybe we'll have a consolation prize because I don't want to stay here all night. So well, we have a couple uh, of extra trophies. Maybe I'll send. Maybe send I'll send both your address. Whoever comes in second, I'll send the uh, number one dad trophy too. For okay, okay. <laughs> sounds good. So whoever comes. All right, in love second. you guys. Bye, Allie. Thank you, Bye, everyone. Allie. We love you guys. We'll see you. You're great, Ali. We love you. Thank you. Come back again, please. Thanks, guys. Clear. Clear. <laughs>